Let's begin with this uh, story where Chairman of uh, Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, Abike Dabiri Irewa, has advised Nigerians to avoid migrating to countries with worse living conditions and human rights record that, than Nigeria. She expressed concerns about Nigerians seeking greener pastures. In a video shared on X where she urged Nigerian influencers and bloggers to help spread the message, emphasizing that some destinations are worse than Nigeria. Mrs. W. Irewa also reacted to a viral video of Nigerians imprisoned in Mali pleading for rescue. She explained that some of these individuals had previously been evacuated by the Nigerian government but returned to Mali. She stressed the importance of respecting the laws of other countries while highlighting the dangers of irregular migration. I want to address again a viral video going around about some girls um, shouting from a prison in Mali, asking to be returned back home. Now, some time ago, the chief of defense staff actually helped us to bring back some girls, almost about 40, in a C-130. We have identified some of those girls and some of those girls that were brought back that time. And they found themselves back in Mali. It's shocking. So in as much as President Bola Ahmed Timibu has instructed that anywhere Nigerians are stranded, we have to ensure that they are back, it's also wrong to commit crime and criminality. So the Office of the National Security Advisor is in charge of um, the multi-agency team on evacuations. And the Office of the NSA has been bringing back you know, people, those who committed crime, finished serving their sentences, those deported, those stranded, they've been coming back. So we want to appeal that you know, we need to obey laws in other countries. Crime and criminality and irregular migration is very deadly now. And as much as the mission in Mali is working on trying to see as many people as they can report back, please, 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 for all of you bloggers, influencers, help us to appeal to Nigerians that, you know, where you're running to is even worse than where you're running away from. Mm. Interesting. This is a hydra-headed matter uh, because uh, for those who are running, they have their reasons. And for those, uh, the, the, the places, government on its own is overwhelmed, I believe, by these matters of rescue, come and rescue us, because um, we have rescued people from uh, different parts of the world as it is because of the conditions of living, especially when we go through irregular migration and things are not as they thought they would be. And um, yes, it is government's responsibility to ensure that they are brought back safely, uh, but there are those who question, okay, why did they leave in the first place? Although she mentioned something that is also crucial, the fact that some of these persons were rescued initially and they found their way back again. Why? When they were brought, where they gainfully employed or where they, you know, somehow integrated into the society where they had something doing? Or is it a matter of, oh, the society lashed back on them and so they, they decided to save face by going back again? So there, there are critical issues that we need to look at if we are talking about addressing issues of irregular migration. If you want to leave the country, leave the right way and you will definitely get the benefit for it. But going by this matter, it, it, it's not right. It doesn't put the country in a good light, really. Having people um, in places like this now pleading. When you were leaving the country, you did not ask the, the government or tell the government you, you were, were leaving. <laughs> and now you find yourself in the situation, you're coming back to the same government that, um, to come and help you. So it, it's quite a dicey matter, really. It's a dicey matter. Indeed, and looking at the pictures of the conditions in which these people are living in would definitely give you an idea as to uh, why they are raising an alarm you know, for government intervention. Well, it, it's a plus uh, on the part of government looking at how they uh, are communicating. Uh, I, I think this is a, a good one uh, you know, on the side of the government, but as you have said, it shouldn't be just this alone, you know, just the, the, the talking. There's also need for government. We need to know just how much of assistance the government is offering uh, these individuals in terms of, is it rehabilitation? How do they adjust? Uh, how far is the government willing to go? Because if these are people who were rescued a while ago and they are still 
you know, find taking it up upon themselves to embark upon these dangerous journeys. You just said it now, irregular migration. What we heard of, you know, people who go through uh, unheard of, unbearable Almost on a daily basis, we hear about uh, the coastal uh, areas where these right. ships capsize and, and a number of persons uh, die in the process. Absolutely. absolutely. And there's even, some the desert, even the desert's journey, the too. Desert we've, journey. we've heard of that. People having to drink their Behind urine. Behind the scenes, we were talking about it, that. I used to have a gate man who, who went, who embarked on this journey. And he saw, the description of what he saw was horrendous. And I do not think that anyone should go through that route. But he insists on still going back. And I was wondering, you had seen all these things and you still want to go out of this country, whichever way you can. Yes, he decided, okay, I'll get a passport, I'll do all of those. Yes, even when you're going through a regular route, you need a passport because something has to be stamped for you to be able to move. But then again, what is the desperation? He, tell, he told me at the time that um, he just needed to get somewhere to work and make more money because he believes that Maybe as you are sweeping, you'll be picking money from the floor, or you see trees growing with money. I don't know what kind of ideas these people get. So I don't know the picture that is painted for this picture to seem like you can easily make money. But there are laws in, this, in those countries, and you must be doing something to make those monies. You can't just be on the streets. You have no plan for wherever you are headed, and you think that things will just fall on your lap like that. Mm. It doesn't work. The, uh, people will say maybe there's an element of greed in all of this, and, and perhaps there's also need for government to crack down on these agencies that embark on this, um, you know... Because they are releasing these people. Reach out to God. Many times they even go as far as selling all their belongings, yeah. like you have said, looking for that, um, that, that reality that turns out to be an illusion of, mm. you know, the streets uh, that are tied in, in gold and, and all of that, looking for that better life when if you just push harder where you are back home you just might just uh, hit it or absolutely there are a lot of persons that are hitting it mm.